Good morning. We are looking at a new quarter and therefore a new unit. So what we're going to be focusing on is looking at a new way of focusing on our attention. So today our plan is we're going to be looking at um, re refocusing our attention on how we interact with others. Um, part of a larger activity that we're going to be working on, uh, a project that we're going to be referring to as the Project for Awesome, is we're going to be looking at the roles of empathy and altruism, um, our relationship to one another. So our first activity is going to be that of a Newzella grading assignment on what is empathy. So um, what I'd like you to do is your assignment today is to read the article on what is empathy. Because I'd like you to understand what it means to essentially understand how other people feel, how other people are um, experiencing their lives and care about. So your directions for the assignment uh, consist of two writing prompts, and I do want you to do both writing prompts and to then take the quiz. So the first writing prompt is one where you're to uh, explain what the central idea of the article is and find at least two details from the article to support your response. And then the other writing prompt consists, what's, why is it important to control your empathy in certain situations? Support your claim with evidence from the article, then explain why the evidence supports your claim. So with both of those, you're going to need information from the article. So it's going to be important, I would suggest, to highlight. So I've already gone through and done some preemptive highlighting. So if the entire article is about what is empathy, it would probably be a good idea to figure out what is empathy. And the, the author does tell you within the first line what is empathy? Empathy is the ability to share and understand the emotions of others. Now there's more to this explanation, so I think it's really important to get to the heart of that as you go, because understanding that someone is sad or that they are mad it's not just a face on a chart of uh, emojis. You have to be able to literally feel and understand the, the emotional construct of the other person. And there are multiple levels to empathy and that's part of what we're going to be exploring in this um, this unit and the activities uh, that are connected to this. Because if you can empathize, if you can connect with other people, then you have a better way to interrelate with other people, and you essentially are a better person for it. Um, and that that's. A, a, a skill set that allows you to interact with people in ways that make it so that you have um, an inner relation with other people that is very, very effective in being able to communicate and relate to people.
Um, now this article does warn that there are some drawbacks to this, which I do want you to pay attention to. Um, because understanding other people's emotions is great, but there are definitely some issues. Um, there are some things that are kind of warnings or caveats to this in the sense that you might connect with some people more than others and that could create some biases meaning like oh I really connect to this person but I don't connect to this person so I might be too favorable to the person I connect to over here and I might not be as kind or as giving to this person I don't connect with as much. Things like that. So these, these are the things that you would want to pay attention to as you are reading, reading the article and responding to the, the article prompts. So that's what I have for you today. And this is something that I want to build off of in the upcoming assignments.